Okay. Thanks, Gabriella. Alright. Thanks, Okay. We'll see you. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay. Oh, hey, how are you? Welcome to Janet's Top 5. As always, I just kind of run through a list of top five things that I'm either passionate about or feel that I want to share with you. And today, it's all about how do I prepare for a show? I've just come out of recording a TV show and I've been doing media for 10 years. Yeah, so there's certain things that always help me. And the first one is all about prep. And you've noticed um, in a lot of my videos, you'll notice me talking about being prepared. So this will be no different. What is it that we're going to talk about? I like to have my notes ready. I like to make sure that I understand the content, so that when I deliver it, there's a lot of conviction. So prep, prep, prep. You know, read up on the topic and just be sure that it's on your fingertips. The other is presentability. I don't have hair and makeup looking good for no reason. We're in an age where these images go across the board. But on top of that, it's okay to look nice. It's okay to have really nice contouring and a nice lip color and have your hair neat. So presentability is a very big deal for me. I have to make sure that, you know, hair and makeup is in place, my outfit is in place. It's just very important for me. It's part of my brand and I believe very strongly in it. So that's also a huge part of what I do before I present a show is make sure that I look the part. Um, engaging with audience and being engaging in the show. I love engaging. I love engaging you guys on social media and I love engaging the audience even though I can't see them and I'm talking into the camera. So that's the third thing I do um, when I'm preparing for a show is preparing to engage the audience and when I'm actually filming the show it's engaging them and looking up and talking issues that I feel they can resonate with. So being engaging is very crucial for me. Meeting a team before a show. Please guys, if you don't have production meetings that's a problem because that brief is so important. And even doing it just before the show, because say you had planned to talk about farming, but there's been a big issue, a big national issue that's come up. Sometimes you may have to tweak your presentation, you know? So meeting with the team beforehand is so important because then you get a feel of, okay guys, what angle are we spinning now? Or what topic are we going with? So you make those key decisions in terms of even how you'll deliver the story, how you'll deliver the news, whatever it is that you're delivering, it's important to have that meeting beforehand because it gives you that backup from a team and going into the presentation is very important. And finally, I have this thing where I just say breathe. Before I used to count to 10, before I used to close my eyes, 10 years later, I've gotten better. It doesn't mean I don't get nervous, which I was told is good. I was told if you're nervous, it's healthy. It means that you still care about the show. So take a minute. I just take a minute, I breathe in, I say, okay, right, let's do this. And then I go out and I try and do my best. So that's a combination of how I prep for a TV show and maybe tips for if you're prepping for a TV show. And that's Janet's top five. So be sure to watch the next episode. I am hungry. I'm going to eat. So bye. Thank you.